Welcome back to another video on the channel. You guys have been blowing the last video out of the water. I have about 350 views right now in the first three and a half days, which is a lot for my channel. So I appreciate the support a lot. This is part two of that ebook of the Packers offensive ebook. That is, this is the title of set 10 information, one of the best formations against main coverage in this game. And this is going to be a full breakdown. I'm going to show you how to beat zones, but this is mostly focused on how to beat man coverage. If you're new to the channel, subscribe to it. It would support me a lot. Also, so that you don't miss future videos, make sure to hit the bell icon so you don't miss those and you always get notified because YouTube doesn't always show new videos on your timeline. But let's talk about titles set today and the reason why I like it. Guys, this is Gregor in the edit. My audibles for this formation are Y out, O1 trap, spot, and PA seam. Terribly sorry I didn't mention this, but O1 trap is an amazing run. It does a lot of good damage against a lot of the man blitzes out there. So you should run this as much as possible. Sorry I didn't put it in the actual video. This is just me currently doing the edit. I realized I forgot to mention that, but yeah, Amazing run. That's it. Go have fun with the video. So tight offset tight end has great corner routes and has something that allows corner routes to get open more easily. The slot receivers and the tight end do not get pressed. So for example, if I call this bench right here, or I just called the wrong play but uh, with the wrong controller, but I'll call bench and I'll just uh, come out and cover on robber press. Cool. You will see first of all that our tight end is not going to get pressed and triangle is also not going to get pressed. So that allows us a free release. And here's the first thing that I can tell you guys. There's a difference between corner routes. Now, of course, you guys know that obviously this bench corner route looks different than this Y out corner route. It's a different corner route. But what I mean is when we look at the cut of the tight end and the receiver, they are different. So you see that this Watkins guy, his corner routes, actually there is a lot of stuff over there that kind of makes it hard to look at. But uh, you see that that corner is kind of jaggedy. It's not as smooth as the one that our guy Lewis is on. So now if I flip the play, you see that Lewis has it and Watkins has the smooth corner route. We do not want the smooth corner route, as crazy as that sounds, that's not the good corner route. If you see, I will press, and Watkins and the cornerback are similar in skill. So this is just route running, as I just called cover two, my bad you guys. This is also a cover two beater, of course, but I didn't mean to call cover two there. So now you see man coverage, similar skill between the cornerback and the receiver. We do not get pressed, that allows a free release and we can get outside of him. Now, of course, it got knocked out there because I had a very bad pass, pass lead. If you do a better job of free forming that, perhaps, uh, then you'll have a lot more success. So right here, boom, free form that, aggressive catch it. And there you see it gets open pretty consistently. Now, let's look at the tight end because the tight end, he does not do such a good job. He does not do such a good job as I got to switch to cover one here. Um, the tight end, it's sort of uh, a... It's sort of inconsistent. It's right there, you see. I tried to click on and cut it off there, which you can sometimes do with Parham. But you see that we don't really get the separation. Of course, Mercedes Lewis is not as good a route runner. Okay, that's the wrong play. Against man coverage, this tight end, he just doesn't do such a good job. We're playing against a linebacker right here, and he's struggling to get open against the linebacker, which that is not a good sign for a man beating route. Of course, we can cut it off there, but if your opponent clicks on, that's pretty much a drop guaranteed. Uh, if not worse, like a tip drill, something like that. So that corner out does not do such a good job. Let's now talk about why out and why pe so many people enjoy running why out. The main thing obviously is this corner out and I will run the same coverage again. I'll press with the cover one and you see we get outside of them and that's a pretty simple pitch and catch. That corner out has been very, very good for years. And especially if you throw in short and lead, as I have short and lead on, on my tight end, on my all, all, all of my receivers, basically, I have short and lead. If you have that, then you're just going to have such an easy, uh, so much easier time. But even without short and lead, you see, we get outside of them, and that corner out does an amazing job of getting open. Now, what, what else is there on this play? One of my favorite routes on this play is the tight end, and this out, oops, this out route really looks doesn't look that interesting but with its rounded cut it often does a great job of getting separation as right there uh, it of course doesn't but in ultimate team especially with short in leads you will get a lot of separation on that and it's just an overall a very very nice route now of course you see that our outside receivers are getting pressed circle and square are getting pressed that is not ideal if we want to if the blitz is coming in and we need our guys to get off the ball fast. So what you can do to combat that is you can motion snap them. And let's now get into the first setup that I like to run. It's just a very simple slant, Adams on a drag and the two man beating routes. And just motion snap to the outside just like that. Then I can hit that corner route. That's right, they dove out of bounds. I let that a little bit too far. But you guys see that we did not get pressed 
uh, we did not get pressed with circle. So let's one more time. Uh, I don't want to spend too much time explaining this, but this is important for you to understand and to utilize. Because if you don't, then you might have some issue. But uh, that was pretty good zone coverage right there. I mean, the uh, three red hook in the middle of the field is going to take care of the slant and the drag at the same time. But not a lot of people running that. First of all, they mostly run man blitzes. And this is just to show you that motion snapping takes care of uh, getting pressed. Now, the thing is with the post this year, the wire, that is that was used, that used to be the thing that made this play so amazing. The combination of the corner route, the out route, and the post. The thing is that this post does not beat man coverage this year. It just, it just doesn't. It's right there, it does beat man coverage. Um, that was kind of fluky. Sometimes that happens where the defenders just run into each other. But if we run this a couple more times, as I'm not in a uh, couple more robber press, if we just run this a couple more times, you will see. Dude, is, is this just the worst cornerback in the game? In I have not seen this get open consistently. Like, maybe it's just that the cornerback is bad, but man, man, oh man, if, if it got this open, uh, that would obviously be very nice. I mean, he just bumps him and then he lets him go. Um, this does not happen in Ultimate Team, sadly. I have not noticed that be a consistent thing. Even though it looks good right there, in Ultimate Team, be a little bit careful. And that is just a general tip that I can give you. Be careful because sometimes it looks like your receiver is going to beat the main coverage, but it's just not going to happen. You, it, it's difficult because you have to throw it with a certain timing. So basically, um, I'm not, I don't have bench here, do I? No, I don't have bench. But the corner route on bench or just any corner route in, uh, specifically, uh, if you throw that too late, then the DB can catch up. So even if you beat him on the cut, basically, the DB can sometimes catch up and make miraculous plays. That's just the thing that happens. So you have to throw it with uh, on time, basically. But you also do not want to guess throw. Because right there in this instance, right there, if I guess throw that, that's undercut. And I knew that that was going to be undercut, so I wouldn't have made that throw. But if they have outside leverage on you and they're trying to run the corner out, it's not going to get open. Like Sometimes it is. There are certain corner routes in this game that, that do that, that are consistent at doing that, but you can't expect them to. You, can, you can't just expect any corner out. It's, it's an example that I can give you for a corner out that does that is out of the play. It's out of bunch, out of the play Z spot. This Z spot corner out does that. If you press it, uh, and then I'm just gonna run like a random setup behind it. This Randall Cobb corner out, you will see what it does. Oh my God, it doesn't do it. Um, in Ultimate Team, maybe I, I have a clip for, clip for you guys that I can show you, uh, but this corner out generally does a good job of looking like it's covered, but then it just gets a speed burst and gets up the sideline. If you have played Bunch, you know that. It's a Bunch trail corner out that also does that. Uh, but there you go. So you can't just expect any given corner out to win. Now, good corner outs in this game or the Y out one. I like the drive out one because it is just a deep corner out that beats zone coverage primarily, but it's not that amazing against main coverage. And then the next corner out that I like is this spot. Spot, in my opinion, very under underutilized. I just started using it like today, basically, like two or three days ago. But this spot route, uh, this spot play, absolutely beautiful. I'm going to press. You see that we have the cover one hook. And you see how even, oh my God, even Mercedes Lewis gets outside of him. And that that is to say something. I'm going to flip the play. I actually have a good route runner on this route now. So now you see, okay, we got matched up against the linebacker, which of course that's going to change some. But you see, we get outside of him. Does a good job against main coverage. We had inside or outside leverage on him anyways, but I'll just flip the play. Can we also flip please? We cannot. Uh, so I'm just going to man him up on here. Anzalone, this is the guy who's manned up on him. Put him in the deep third. We're going to press. And this is the setup that I generally like to run with it. You notice, of course, that also Mercedes Lewis has the corner that we talked about with the cut. And we also have a zig route on the field. So this is one of the best man-beating plays in the game. Uh, you see how we get outside of him and we make that play. That corner out does not look special. It does not look special at all. But this is the cut that I was talking about. Generally, the smooth cuts don't do such a good job against man coverage, but this is one of those rough cuts that sounded kind of kind of sketchy, but kind of sus, but you guys get what I mean. This does a good job against man coverage. The spot drop, very underutilized, but for man coverage, I want to go for a specific setup. For this setup, you need 
uh, outside of parentheses. I recommend running deep uh, uh, outside of parentheses on at least one of your receivers. I'm running it on two. I have Justin Jefferson and Randy Moss. So in this game, I'm going to use uh, Devontae Adams and I'm going to call the play slot outs. Now, slot outs has two unbumpables. Unbumpables in this game, however, are very inconsistent. How do you know that you have an unbumpable and that it's good? If you look at the difference between Adams and Lazard, Adams' route is a lot more jaggedy. It has cuts in it. It's not as smooth. That is what you want. In Ultimate Team, if you're playing all Madden, you need 85 plus deep route running. If you're playing all Pro, you need 90 deep route running. I'm playing all Madden, so pretty much any of my receivers can uh, get every single receiver of mine can get that cut. Now, Lazard is not going to get it, so he's not going to get separation. But that's not the point of this. The point of this is showing that these unbumpables can work, but they're inconsistent as hell. There are, um, there are certain unbumpables that are better than ours. I, I feel like those these two unbumpables are not that good. As you see right there, we did cook them, and I recommend throwing that with a high pass. Like any deep ball, any deep corner, I recommend throwing a high pass. But you see right there, we beat him. And let's now see, of course, he's lit up. That might change stuff. But he's not going to get open 100% of the time. Like right there, this does not look as good. Like right there, we had him. He was covered pretty well. Not going to lie to you. But how do we how do we make a nice play out of this? Well, first of all, we're going to motion snap Adams. And it's important before you motion snap that you know which play you want to run. Because during the motion, you can make as many adjustments as you want to. And this is a play that I recommend you run because this corner route from Adams does an amazing job against man coverage. It's right there, you see. I'll leave that up the field a little bit. I overthrew it. God damn it. But yeah, I see that that Z route cooks man coverage. That is a very consistent thing. If you guys were watching the competitive tournament, of course, and you saw that Henry uh, ran, that was probably his most often ran route. Like he had two Z routes on the field on a lot of plays. It's right there, we fumbled the ball. Can we, is it a scoop and score? Come on, there is even faster than that. Oh, he made it. He, he got a scoop and score. This C-Rod does an amazing job against main coverage. Of course, the slant, the zig do a great job. If we have Lazard with that on bumper, well, he might also get open. Uh, but he is not going to get open. The angle route does also beat main coverage. It's right there. Drop back way too far in the pocket. But you guys get the deal. Great play against main coverage. Another great play against main coverage is this PA seams where you can just like run a bunch of underneath stuff, something like that. And then you've got the high ball option to Mercedes Lewis and ultimate team, of course, that's Donald Parham. So you can throw it to him right here and try to ag him maybe if you want to. That's what Noah did. But yeah, that's it for beating man coverage. Now let's talk about zone coverage, with th which this play has a beater for every single coverage in the game. The first thing I want to talk about are coverage bombs. That is one of the most popular aspects of this formation. It just has so many bombs, so many great deep completion sets you can get. And I want to start off by beating cover two with this play PA seams. Generally, it is important for you to understand which side of the field you want the corner route or the deep routes to go to. So most of the time you want the running back to the wide side of the field when it comes to those bombs. That's just something that you can keep in mind. You want to then motion out Lazard, uh, block the running back so you cancel the play action. And then we just want to wait and maybe not wait that long uh, and throw it deep down the sideline. I'm going to block the uh, cornerback just so that we don't. Uh, we don't get any fluky stuff. But this Lazard route does an amazing job of getting open against Tampa 2. It's right there. You can see me. I thought that just with a regular pass lead. I didn't even pass lead. Uh, freeform that. But you guys see that we get open against cover 2. Now, this is not this is not the most uh, revolutionary thing. But it's a consistent thing that will happen for you. I'm going to, once again, spy the blitzing cornerback so that we don't get any weird pass-offs. This time, I am going to pass lead it a little bit, but I, didn't, I don't even need to pass lead it. There you go. Um, freeform pass it, I mean. I keep mixing up those two words, but you guys see, yeah, cover two beater, very, very simple. Let's now go with the running back to the short side of the field because now I want to talk about how we can beat cover four. I was about to say cover two, we just beat cover two. Let's now talk about cover four. Cover four drop, that is. Uh, cover four quarters can give this a lot of trouble against cover four quarters. I recommend going to bunch, which I did already the video on. You can check it out in the card above. Uh, check it out in the card above. But PA seems once again, or drive corner, really doesn't matter. I'll call it drive corner right here or drive out. And the thing that you need to do for this is you need to streak Adams. And there you go. I'm going to double team right here to make sure I can get outside of him. It's right there. Okay, my bad. We just didn't beat it. 
We didn't beat it. Uh, this is a cover for press speeder. My God, I'm sorry. I keep forgetting that. Uh, if you press, then get then it gets open. Gets the cover four press, you'll do a good job. But otherwise, we gotta look for another cover four bomb against the regular cover four. So that is against cover four press. I recommend running that because not a lot of people know about this. But the corner just gets behind him. We can just go into instant replay and show you this. Now you see. He just gets behind him. He stutters right there, and now he's already past him. And he's not going to catch him at that point. But now, when it comes to beating cover four to the short side or a consistent cover four beater, we got to call the play Y out. Y out is going to be the play. I'm going to block the running back. I want to streak Lewis. And if we want an extra blocker, we can motion Adams in a step and then snap the ball right here. And so now we can double team the edge. And you see how he gets behind him. That is not. That is not the best cover four beater in the world. I will admit that. But that is the only one that I found. Nice. There you go. Now we got it. Okay. So it's a difficult uh, difficult cover four beater to throw. Let's just stick with that. It's difficult, but it is a cover four beater. Now beating cover three in comparison is very simple. We're just going to call the play wild and have the exact same setup. I'm going to motion Adams in a step. There you go. So now we're going to block him. And this, you see, is very open. Now, of course, that was a terrible lead, uh, pass lead just because regular pass lead is not good enough in this year's game. Uh, but you see that it was open. And I'm going to show this again. Cover three, you can see right here. How do you tell the difference between cover three, cover two, and cover four? Cover two and cover four, it's two high safeties. So two safeties up there, cover three and cover one. That's only one safety. Most of you guys probably already knew that, but, but for people who aren't that much into Madden, this is, of course, a very, very good tip. Let's call that. Let's catch it. And there you go. That is it for the coverage bombs. Let's now get into the every down plays. One of the simplest plays in the game is this Y out. I'm going to call it against cover three drop with the uh, running back to the white side like this. All I'm going to do now is I'm going to streak Adams and I'm going to drag Mercedes Lewins. My goal for this play is to get the corn route open, just like this. It is a very simple read to make, and the corn route is a very simple thing to throw. So let's do this one more time, just like this. Streak Adams, drag the tight end. You can also look to hit that, um, that post route if you want to. Of course, in Ultimate Team, the safeties are going to be a little bit better, and they're going to react to this a little bit better. If they drag their safety down a little bit, like this walker, they drag him down, which I will just simulate right here and this is still a ball that you can perhaps throw but of course and rogers has gunslinger and the fastest release in the game and i think 96 throw power or something so in uh regs so this is not like comparable to ultimate team so just keep that in mind but yeah the main goal for this is to hit this corner out, which we can throw this corner out pretty easily this corner route can, of course, be covered in the case that it is covered by a zone that's, drop, that's dropping back. Let's just imagine that the zone drops back for now. We can check it down to Mercedes Lewis and have an easy, easy play. Now, that is it for Y out, in my opinion. I think that Y out generally is not the best zone beater. Like, there are so many things that you can do with it, but I don't really like a specific setup. You could go for something like this. I like a check and, re check and release, to be quite honest with you. Uh, and then, of course, still that is there that we can throw. But generally speaking, why out? I like this one setup. It is a very simple setup, and it's beautiful because of that. Because it's it's very easy to set up, and you can. Oh, <laughs> I just hit him in the bum. But there you go. That is it for why out. Let's now talk about some other plays that we maybe have, and I gotta actually call a completely new play for this. And this is now a concept that we'll use a lot in this game. Or not in this game, but in this scheme, rather. And I'm going to do that to play bench for now. And there are a couple of different corner routes that are in this game, of course. There are the wild one that I showed you, this bench corner route, and then this PA seams corner route. I want to show it to you with the bench corner route first. And the setup for this is going to be something like this. Streak Adams, drag Lewis Lazard on the slant, and then motion snap to the outside a little bit. So you have got a little bit of a delay. Of course, we once again want to look to hit the corner up. But that is not always going to be there. Now, this is to stress the user pretty much. The goal of this is to just have the slant, either drag the slant or the out route open to the running back. Now, with a regular zone, of course, this does not do such a good job. You have to imagine that the user is going to kind of chase stuff and that is then going to open other routes up across the middle. But in practice mode, you can't really simulate that. I mean, I could man him up, but that would be very tedious, and I'm not here for that. 
but there you go just simple check down to the drag just like so you can also if you don't feel like you're getting enough time like you maybe want to block the running back that's fine too just block the running back i would then recommend going with an in route on lazard instead of a slant uh but yeah same exact dealio goal of course is to hit that corner out as right there you see me fitting that in there pretty nicely same thing is is going on with the pa seams one that is a nice cover two beater as well that deep corner route but for now we're just gonna roll, uh, run it against cover three so i'm gonna snap this ball you see slant drag same stuff and this corner gets open for a lot of yards so very nice play against cover three i understand that not a lot of people are running zone this year but i just want to show this simple play concept off because this is something that actually henry ran a lot i feel like i feel like i remember seeing that and it's a very very nice play design last but not least same thing you can do the exact same thing with y out i didn't show it off for y out at the beginning but just so you have all three corner routes that are in this game utilized snap the ball there you go running back i can throw it to him maybe if there's not a flat there a lot of people are taking off flats because they man up people so you can look to hit the flat but for y out same exact read you want to hit hit the corner up but obviously don't force it in but if you see hey this looks familiar okay i just got sacked right there corner was open was about to throw the corner that's gonna happen you don't want to take too uh, too long with your reads of course but if you have some open then it's it's difficult because if you see that the corner is going to be open you want to take the time so they can throw it right there very easily oh that was a crazy animation because i racked that but beautiful stuff that is it for the title set tight end part of this ebook now very simple i understand it is not the most complex thing in the world but i hope you guys still learned something i hope this was informative for you guys i'm gonna give you one last tip and let's go back to the gameplay one last tip pa seams with uh donald parham right here in, in the spot of mercedes lewis do this and high pass it high pass it there you go nice seam dot but yeah let's go back to full screen let's do the outro Hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Once again, subscribe to the channel. It's free, costs literally nothing. Also, turn on the bell notifications so that you get notified when new videos come out because YouTube doesn't always show those on your home feed if you're subscribed to me. So that would help me out a lot. Thank you so much. Till next time, peace out.